Now, we're not going to identify this contestant panel because to identify him would be to tip off his secret. We will call him simply Dr. X. Now, Doctor, if you will whisper your secret to me, we will show it at the same time to the folks out there. Now, wait a minute. There, there is even more. To help to classify Dr. X's secret, I'll tell you what concerns something that he did. We'll start with Bill Cullen, please. The name Dr. X uh, always reminds me of those motion pictures like the mysterious uh, machine of Dr. X or something like that. Yes. You didn't make any of those pictures, did you, Doctor? Uh, you didn't well, make any uh, of those particular movies. No. no. <laughs> uh, Dr. X, is this something you did recently? Uh, well, I'm still working on it, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it something you did and are doing then in the uh, normal course of your work? Yes. Let me say, Bill, lest we mislead you, however, that the original work on this was not done recently. It's a continuing action, but the secret as stated was, is not, uh, was not done recently. Is there any object connected with this secret then, Dr. X? Uh, well, uh, yes, I think you, I, I'm quite sure there's an object. Do doctors use this object? Uh, yes, it's been used in surgery. Is this some kind of a machine that might be painful when it's used? Uh, uh, yeah, sometimes it's most painful. <laughs> sometimes it's most painful. $20 down and $60. You're a wise man. $20 down and $60 to go. And we go to Jane Meadows, please. Then, uh, if I gather right, Dr. X, you have been engaged in some kind of experimental work, which is still continuing. Is that right? Uh, that's right, yes. Do you work in any kind of a laboratory or a place like that? Yes. Would this remotely or in any way be connected with psychiatric cases? Uh, um, well, no, not especially. Not. It would be more in, in the in, medical... In very rare interest, uh, instances, it's been known to cause a few, but that really isn't the... <laughs> it really isn't the purpose of it, so let's say no. Okay? That's all. Um, there seems to be a great deal of laughter answering these questions. Would... Could I assume, however, that what you are working on could be considered a blessing to mankind? Uh, I think, generally speaking, that it's been a blessing, yes. It is a blessing, or it has been a blessing, you said. It uh, has been and is. Do you uh, use any little animals, mice, rats, or anything, in your experimental work? <clears throat> Rabbits well, or anything? Uh, I have used them, yes. But I think it would be misleading to the You think what, sir? Misleading to the Yes, I think it would be misleading in the, in the sense in which the question was asked. Resident. $40 down and $40 to go, and we go to Henry Morgan. So let's forget the rats and the mice. Uh, doctor, uh, would it help me, or anybody else, to know what kind of doctor you are? Uh, why, my... Uh... Well, let, make him guess. Make him work at it. Yes, it would help. Sure. Yes, it would help. Are you a dentist? No. <laughs> I didn't hear you. No, no. Oh, not a dentist. Your your research. I, I gather you've been doing some research on something that. Uh, I'm. I'm. Uh, yes, I'm a research man. Yeah, is it? It's going to help some um, common uh, difficulty that we all experience. I imagine. Uh, yes, I should say it were and has. Well, is it is it something as common as a? Uh, what's pretty common? A common cold. <laughs> Uh, yes, I think it's as common as a common cold. Uh, We're getting into pretty obscure territory, and I think you fellows have led yourself down the garden path. Shall we cut them off? Let's cut them off, because you're just wandering farther and farther. Faisy, it was your turn, but if you'll forgive me, I'll forfeit the money and tell you that he is a doctor of science in the scientific medicine, uh, of a scientific field. This is the famous Dr. Philo T. Farnsworth, who invented electronic television. Doctor, truthfully, are you sorry? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Well, it's up to you. I asked him the same question. He said sometimes. <laughs> he said sometimes. Uh, now, uh, he is, of course, the uh, technical director of Farnsworth Electronics Company in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And, and sir, how old were you when you invented uh, television or, the, or the, the first television machine as we know it today, first television uh, system? I was 14. 14 years old. As I understand it, sir, let me say first of all that when I heard I was going to meet Dr. Farnsworth tonight, I expected an old man with a long gray beard. I just couldn't believe it. 
Now, uh, I'd like to ask you, ask you, there had been television sets of sorts before you came along, had there not been? Uh, yes, there had been uh, attempts to devise a television system using mechanical discs and rotating mirrors and vibrating mirrors. And but all mechanics, all, all me mirrors. All mechanical. And what uh, was your contribution? My contribution was to take out the moving parts and make the thing entirely electronic. And uh, that was the concept that I had when I was just a freshman in high school. He was the one who put electronics into television, which makes it possible for us to have whatever it is that we have now. And then, of course, as the machines developed, there were other people who made contributions, too. Oh, yes. Uh, there are literally thousands of uh, inventions important to television. And how many patents do you hold, sir, in the television field? Uh, I hold electronics field? something in excess of 165 American patents. 165 American patents. Let's go from the past, sir, the not too recent past, to the future. What are you working on now? Well, uh, in television, uh, we're attempting first to make better utilization of the bandwidth because we think we can eventually get uh, in excess of 2,000 lines instead of 525. We're, uh, uh, and do it on even narrower channel, if, um, possibly, than we're doing the present uh, television. Which will make for a better picture, make a, a picture. Make for a much sharper picture. Then we hope, uh, we, we believe in the picture uh, frame type of a picture, where the, the uh, uh, v visual display will be just a screen. Then we hope for a memory uh, so that the picture will be just as it was pasted on there. And many different kinds of, many improvements will result in the camera when you use such devices because there's uh, part of the, of the scene that you can remember and you practically have a memory file of it and um, sim will simplify production of it. He's then, also working in nuclear fusion, which I, and, and some of the things he says that are going to happen, we're going to heat our homes, we're going to cool our homes, we will cook, we will run our automobiles, all transportation by nuclear fusion, and the future is unlimited. The truth? Well, electronics really uh, has had several uh, offspring uh, as a science and, in, and an art. One of them is nucleonics, and uh, in the field uh, that I, I'm essentially interested in now, or doing most of my work, is uh, the taming of the H-bomb, the uh, hydrogen fusion problem. Dr. Farnsworth, we could stand here for, sit here for many, many hours and talk. Most fascinating man I've met in many a long year. But unfortunately, television being what it is, it's your baby and we're out of time. So here are your Winston, sir, the money that you won. And I, I are eternal gratitude. I'd be out of work if it weren't for you. Thank you very much.